This is just freaking crazy, I mean. <laughs> All right, watch this. These are actually Swarovski crystals, and you see they got that kind of heartbeat-like effect, like boom, 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 boom. This car is absolutely wild. It's got a billion crazy features. That's just one of them. The star of the show is on the inside, but first, let's take a quick look at the outside, right? You got the glossy piano black kidney grill sealed because this is the electric version of the 7 Series. This is the i7. Under the daytime running lights, you actually have the main headlights hidden, low beam and high beams. You see how they're a bit concealed? Pretty cool, pretty cool. This is an M package i7, so you got the M package 21 inch rims, brake calipers, M badge right there. And then the door handles, I won't use them yet. You see, they look a bit unique, a little bit different. Over here, pretty cool. And you're gonna see these kind of triangles everywhere. This is a constant theme going on with this car, and this will give you a sneak peek with what's going on in the back seat, because this car has what I think is the best interior I've ever seen in a car, and you'll soon find out why. And the back looks surprisingly aggressive. I mean, this is a 7 Series, and that's usually aimed at like fancy schmancy business people, you know, celebrities, politicians, it's executive, it's luxurious, but the back looks pretty freaking sporty, you know, pretty aggressive. You even got this little glossy spoiler. I mean, not sure how much downforce that's gonna produce, but it does the job. It just, it's a nice little detail. It looks pretty cool. All right, you guys ready for the inside? First, let me show you the key. Very nice key, very elegant. So over here, door handles, what's going on? You can either reach under and press the button in there, or you can press this if you have the key. If you have the key, you can press this like that and step away. See that? A little bit of hocus pocus. And check out the back of your i7. Let's close the door. First thing I'm gonna do to close the door, press of a button right there. Effortless. So first of all, what you saw is I pressed this button to close the door, but right next to it, you have this like touch screen, right? And this controls everything. This seat right here is actually called the master chair because when you're being chauffeured, this controls everything. So you actually have this. You can just uh, control your climate. It's your infotainment. I can just swipe up like that. And now what you have are your blinds. If you want to control your blinds, look, you can uh, bump these up. There it goes. More Harry Potter vibes. I can do the back one right there. And if I want, I can just straight up open or close all of them. This screen does two more super crazy things. We're gonna start off with the seats. You take a look at the front. You see how nothing suspicious going on. Actually, I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil too much the front yet. I wanna show you guys this first. Ready? I'll just press seat and I can go into full-blown executive mode. You see that? This little guy lying down, having a good time, little siesta. I'll press that. There it is. This is so spacious. Look at the POV. I mean, tell me this is not the epitome of luxury. Just got this over here, controlling everything I want. If I want a massage, get my massages going on. But my favorite button of all, and yours too, trust me, is this. I press display. So here I got a little suspicious panel. Might give you an idea what this is going to do. Fold down only or fold down via theater mode. All right, watch this. This is just freaking crazy, I mean. <laughs> so this is a <laughs> this is a 31 inch touchscreen BMW theater that you get in the back seat. And this is one of the most insane features I've ever seen in the back of a car. And then what you got is you got Netflix, you got YouTube. Let's press YouTube. Yep. You see how it actually changes the aspect ratio? So uh, look, you got your weather over here, you got your time over here, you got your main screen over here. Actually, Supercar Blondie video is being featured, recommended. And we're not even signed in. By the way, this is not rigged. I have a feeling that whoever made this video, probably a total badass. What, what a crazy car. What, a, who is, what the? What is this, an Apple car being revealed? 
Who is this man and how does he know all this information? I don't know, man. I would totally subscribe to find out more. By the way, also pretty interesting is that even though you have this button right here to fully open everything automatically, they have a manual door hinge right there like that. You can actually open it like that if all electronics fail. But you also have a third option right there and you can just press this and it just kind of half opens it, but you got to push it. So you have one fully manual, one fully automatic, and then one half automatic, half manual, which is an absurd amount of options for opening a door. But I'll take it. Why not? Close the door. Press that. There you go. Easy as that. All right, it is time to take a look at the front because the front is absolutely bonkers. Not as much as the back, but it's also pretty freaking crazy. Ready? Yep. Check that out. You got a beautiful curved display. Your gauge cluster, your infotainment. This right here is a 12.1 inch gauge cluster and this is a 14.2 inch infotainment. But my favorite part is this little like light strip. It's got that prism structure going on with all the triangles that the 7 series has. It's pretty cool. Look, your AC is actually hidden right underneath it. This is your AC. Look, because I mean, if you really look at it from a distance, it looks like there's no vents. It's all hidden under here and you can control it by swooping left and right. So this is one means 100% AC, zero means no AC. You can do whatever you want in between. You can also just lightly tap this to get your emergency lights going on. And what's also cool is that this is how you close your door. You go on this side, I can just tap the prism shape like that. And this automatically closes. And you still got more of this light strip going through the door, which is awesome. But when I open the door, again, I can use my manual options or I can just press this. Ready? Door open. That is, that is just absurdly fancy, but I love it. So what happens if you want to close the door, but there's an obstacle in the way? Let's find out. Ready? Close it. Red. Drama. Man. Obstructing the door. Let's try to close it again. That's pretty cool. Also super nice touch. You got more crystals right here. This is just to adjust your seat, man. To show you guys the level of attention to detail, when I bring my seat back, look what happens. Ready? The 31 inch theater also slides back so you don't hit it. And if you slide it forward, the theater also slides up. You have more of these crystals right here. Look, when you turn this, the arrows stay but this feels so smooth. Your start stop is another crystal. Your gear selector is another crystal. We actually had to ask if this was real wood because of how shiny and polished it is. This is real wood. It's mixed with the leather up here. You got the glass going on. You got aluminum pieces. This ambient light actually changes color. So if you go to my modes, these are your drive modes right here. If I press this, I can go into sport mode. Your seats actually tighten up and then you get all this red. Now the car looks more badass. You know, you got the blue going on as well. The M colors. If I go to efficient mode, we got a very peaceful blue. Expressive. More like of an executive kind of blue going on with the yellow touches as well. And if we go to relax, okay. I mean, that happens. I think even though this is a chauffeur focused car, the chauffeurs are gonna love this. I mean, they're gonna get a full on erection driving this. Press that. All right. Oh, look, I can actually open all the doors. Oh, okay. I can close them. You're a wizard, Harry. To put into drive, all you gotta do is toggle this. This is super fidgety. Look, reverse, neutral, drive. That's pretty cool. And uh, what do you think? Let's take it down the streets of Germany. Look at the drama. So look. Oh my God. So this thing actually has a lot more power than I anticipated. You know, you think of like a chauffeur driven car. Most people are going to be in the back, you know, sipping some champagne, 
beating something maybe i don't know on a laptop but you can floor it and this thing flies so like i don't know man you got a laptop chauffeur accelerates it take it straight to the chin pretty dangerous but it's good it's cool it's very silent very uh luxurious it's pretty soft when you drive it um you know you guys think of like rolls royce being part of the same group i'm sure maybe uh they pay each other a couple of visits because this thing is pretty soft. Look, right now I'm not, I'm not hitting the brakes, but the recuperation activates and it brakes on its own, which is pretty strange. All right, guys, $135,000 starting price. Is it worth it? Tell me a cooler interior. I'll wait. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.